Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you how to set an audio editor to work with Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now, this will work with any version of Sony Vegas Movie Studio as well as Sony Vegas. Now, my audio editor of choice is the free Audacity audio editor. It's one of the best ones out there, and like I say, it's free. And what I want to be able to do is to be able to jump directly from Sony Vegas Movie Studio into this audio editor, edit my audio, and then put it back in the Sony Movie Studio. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, before you do this, you'll want to download the Audacity Audio Editor. And you can get that audio editor free by going to the link at the bottom of the screen here. Once you've installed it, what you want to do is start Sony Vegas Movie Studio. And with Sony Vegas Movie Studio, you'll want to go up to Options, and then come down to Preferences, and then go to the Audio tab. Right here where it says Preferred Audio Editor, you probably won't have anything in there. And what you'll want to do is to go find Audacity on your computer. In most cases, it's going to be under C colons, Program Files, Audacity, Audacity EXE. You can click Browse to go to it. In my case, I had it in my Program Files, and all you have to do is find the Audacity.exe program and select it. Once it's selected, click OK. And from that point on, Audacity will be your preferred external audio editor in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. Now the way it's useful is, let's say you've gone through an edited project, but now that you've got the project there, you've noticed there's a little bit of background noise in your audio track. So what you want to do is you want to edit that audio track. And to do that, right click on the audio track and choose Open in Audio Editor. When you do that, it'll open Audacity and it'll export the audio track from that video and put it on the timeline in Audacity. And once it's here on the timeline, you can go in and apply effects to it. For example, you may want to go in and apply a noise removal effect. And to do that, what I typically do is use the plus sign until I find an area with noise, say that right here, this is the noise I want to remove. And then I'll click Effect, Noise Removal, Get Noise Profile, and then I'll select Edit, Select All, which will select the entire audio track. And then I'll click Effect again, Noise Removal, and then OK. And it'll apply the noise removal to the entire track. Now that I've done noise removal, I might want to go in and do a normalize. And to do that, we click Effect, Normalize, and it'll apply the normalization of volume to the entire track. So we click OK. And it does that. Now, it's not modifying your audio track in Sony Vegas Movie Studio. It's only doing it here in Audacity. So once you've got it the way you want it, you click File, and you choose Export, and you enter the file name. Let's call this all tell one because it's, that's the name of my video. I'm going to put it in MP3 format. I can put it in any format I wanted, but I'm going to choose MP3 and then click Save. And Audacity saves the audio file. Once it's completed, I'm going to go back to my Sony Vegas Movie Studio and notice the original file is there and there's no new audio file. And that's because I haven't imported that audio file that I've just saved. And to do that, I click Project, Import Media, I find the audio file that I just saved. It's right there. I click Open. That brings it into my project file. Now what I want to do is I want to bring this audio track right below the original audio track and line it up. You can see that it's lined up perfectly. Once I've done that, I'm going to click the Mute button on the original audio track. And now when I play it, it's going to play the newly modified audio track. In this week's video tip, I'm going to show you a little device that we use to allow us to get internet anywhere, even go down the road in a motorhome. So the audio track sounds great. Now the reason that you want to do it this way is that you never want to delete your original audio track in case you create problems when you're editing it in Audacity. If you do create a problem, you can always unmute the original audio and remove the one that you've modified. Well, there's one other thing you, you probably want to keep in mind. When you go to Audacity to edit your audio track, you don't want to cut or delete any segments. Otherwise, you won't be able to line it up when you put it back in here. But other than that, you can do all the effects and do anything else you want in Audacity and then import it back in here. It's pretty easy to do. I thought you might be interested in knowing how to do that. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.